Hey friends and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Jillian and today I have a storage closet declutter and organization. So this closet is where I keep a lot of the kids stuff for school, anything has to do with like crafting, my DIY stuff and just art supplies. So I need to clean this out. My husband just built this a few weeks ago and I was so excited when he did. But as you guys can see, I didn't really have any bins or baskets to store things. I was using the drawers that I was using from the previous weeks before he built this shelf. So I did go to Target or do a drive up Target order and I ordered a few baskets. I'll probably get a few more, but for now I got a few. So I'm going to go ahead and organize it. I did pull everything out of the closet so I can go ahead and go through anything that needs to be tossed out. So I'm going to just go through everything and throw anything out that needs to be thrown out, like I said, and then try to organize everything as best as possible and then put everything back into the closet. in this container right here i have all the kids craft supplies or a majority of all their craft supplies and this has gotten way too small for all the stuff that they have so i definitely need to go out and buy another one of the large baskets that i got from target just so it can fit a little better because i did have to pretty much squeeze everything in this little crayola box that i have i'll probably keep that crayola box for other stuff but i definitely need to just go ahead and order another large basket for the kids craft supplies
is anyone else like me, I like to save a lot of my kids' birthday bags when they get gifts. And then also I like to just randomly buy cards, whether it's for like a specific holiday or maybe just a thank you card or even just a blank card. And then I just save them and I usually put them in this container. This is like my birthday container. So if someone's birthday comes up or Mother's Day, which is around the corner, is coming up and I forget to buy a card, I do have a few cards that are in this box that I can just go ahead and grab. And then I like to reuse a lot of the really cute gift bags as well. So now that everything is organized, I'm gonna go ahead and quickly sweep out this closet and then I'm gonna wipe down the shelves. And to wipe down the shelves, I'm just using a multi-purpose spray with a microfiber cloth and I'm just gonna quickly wipe down everything before I go ahead and place all the baskets back into this closet. Alright guys, so this is the after and how the closet is currently looking like. I'm sorry about the lighting, it looks yellow, but it's because of that light up there. But anyways, over here on the hooks, I have both of the kids' um, school book bags hanging up. And then I have my purse hanging up there. And then for the shelf all the way on the top, I have a lot of like chalkboards. So for like their birthday or um, Christmas, first day of school, stuff like that, that I like to take pictures of them. I have it right there. Up here is a lot of like my craft stuff. So I have two wired wreaths. One's a pumpkin, one is a heart. Extra wreaths for throughout the year. And then I just have a bunch of empty glass jars. I'm not sure what exactly I'm gonna do with them. But for now, I'm keeping them up there. On this second shelf, I have albums, canvases, and then I want to make a scrapbook. I've been having it for about a year and I still haven't done it, but I have some scrapbook stuff in here. So everything I need to make my scrapbook is in this basket. And then I found these canvas um, really pretty pictures in Dollar Tree a while back and I never got around to hanging it up. I'm not sure where I will hang it up, but I have this one that says bless this mess. And then this really beautiful one of flowers and then this one. So I'm thinking about maybe putting these in the bathroom. I'm not sure, but I just put it there just so I can see it and I can remember to hang it up somewhere. And then I just have some photo albums next row these small baskets this one is ryan and madison's just like pencils erasers sharpener stuff like that and then i have an extra pencil case for when we travel and um go on road trips i put a lot of stuff in there for them like pencils and coloring stuff and then in this basket it's just a bunch of extra like goodie bags and stuff for holidays so we have easter in here we have valentine's stuff like that and here are a bunch of Peppa Pig goodie bags because this year, for the first year, I was going to have a little birthday party for Madison. But obviously, we did not um, get to do that since the whole, you know, virus thing was going around. So these were the goodie bags I was going to use. So I'll just use that another time. These two baskets are all of my craft stuff. It's not very neat in here, but it'll do for now. So in here, I have a lot of like um, ribbon. I have a measuring tape fake snow rocks i have moss stuff like that and then in here is a bunch of paint glue glue sticks stuff like that and then this next row all in this basket is a bunch of extra like paper drawing paper coloring um painting stuff like that and then over here is all the kids like art stuff so we have in this box a bunch of crayons colored pencils markers more markers their little caddy this is Ryan's little drawing lap, little desk. And this Target bag is a bunch of stuff for the kids' teachers. I was planning to give them um, for like teacher appreciation day and like last day of school. I'm not sure if I'll be able to give them that since they're not going back to school, but that's what that is full of. And then down here is Play-Doh. I have a bunch of extra birthday stuff like tissue paper, birthday cards, stuff like that. Here's a bunch of just like fake flowers. This one is a bunch of the kids' outdoor activities. And then in here is all of their art supplies. So that is how everything looks like. I'm sorry if I talked a lot, but it doesn't look perfect. But for now, this will do. And I think it looks much more organized than what it did before we even had this whole shelving unit. 
And then this is what I'm left over with. So I have all these clear bins. I'm gonna go ahead and throw away. That garbage bag is just full of a few things that I got rid of from the closet. And so then this wire basket, I'm just going to use to organize in my pantry because I already have those baskets in there. So yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of all of that and we are done. All right guys, so that is going to end my closet declutter and organization. I hope you guys found some motivation from today's video. I still need to buy a few more baskets for this closet to organize it a little better, but for now that'll do. It looks so much better and I'm so glad that my husband finally built me a little shelf in there so I can organize because the drawers I had in there, if you guys have been following me for a while, it was just driving me crazy and actually the drawers that i had my craft stuff in the wheel was broken so anytime i needed to like pull it out to like declutter in there it was a mission so i'm glad we finally have that beautiful shelf but um for later this week i'm gonna have another cleaning video and then maybe another organizing video i'm not sure i'm going to finish filming today a deep cleaning upstairs so i'm thinking about uploading that on wednesday i'm not 100 sure i also um pre-filmed another organization a video i think in ryan's room so i'm just not sure which video will go up next but i'm trying to go back to my old schedule where i upload three times a week which is monday wednesdays and fridays so this week is going to be all cleaning and organizing videos and then i might vlog later this week and if i do vlog um this week i will upload it next week i'm thinking about doing like a day in the life of an autism mom i've only done one of those before a few months ago and it did pretty good so i might do that again i'm not 100 percent sure but that is what i have planned but anyways enough of my rambling i'm gonna go ahead and close this video out i hope you guys enjoyed it if you have not already please consider subscribing i would love to have you be a part of my youtube family i love you guys and i will see you guys in my next video bye